Hello everyone. So today we're going to be talking about a character that was on the outskirts of a distant planet of an unknown planet and felt like the gods were not listening to him. And of course we're talking about Marvel's Gore the God Butcher. Now the creators of this wonderful character are Jason Aaron and Isad Ribic. And his first appearance is in Thor, God of Thunder, number 1, January 2013. Now, Gore was once a simple man living on a dying planet, constantly racked by famine, predators, and natural disasters. His species was very pious, constantly praying to the gods for help. But that did not save Gore's mother from being torn apart by carnivores, his wife, at that time pregnant with his child, from being swallowed into the ground by an earthquake and his son from starving to death as Gore tried in vain to console him. As a result, Gore began to doubt the existence of any of the gods, which led him to being exiled from his tribe. In his exile, Gore observed a battle between two gods that left them mortally wounded and fallen to the ground. In that moment, Gore's doubt turned into hate, as now he knew there were gods indeed, it's just that they could not be bothered to take care of the mortals who worshipped them. Sensing Gore's rage, the dark god's weapon, the all-black necrosword, attached itself to Gore. Taking that opportunity, Gore accepted the weapon, finished off the two dying deities, and went on a quest to kill every god in the Unoan universe. Now Gore's quest takes him all across the cosmos, but the story picks up when he lands on Earth. Gore is implied to have killed a god of North America before coming to Eastern Europe in 997 CE. Upon arrival, he kills the Slavic gods Chernoblog and Prun before attacking a young Thor. Gore is able to overpower Thor, but the Thunder God conjures a lightning strike that knocks both of them out of commission. Thor escapes, but his pride leads him to start hunting down the God Butcher alone to finish what he started. Gore traps him in a cave where he is tortured for seven days, and eventually Thor's mortal followers find him and try to free him, and while Gore easily kills them, they also provide enough distraction for Thor to escape. Now after breaking free from his bonds, Thor cuts off one of Gore's arms with an Asgardian axe, and he believes that actually kills him. However, Gore remained alive in fact, and realized that he could not keep butchering gods one by one. So he started building a huge army of darkness constructs, which are called Black Berserkers, and something that would allow him to end all gods in the universe, past, present, and also future. To this effect, he forced Shadrach, a alien god of bombs, to grant him the knowledge to create a device that would end all gods throughout all time. In possession of this knowledge, Gore only needed to build his bomb. He first invades Omnipotent City, which is the meeting place of all gods. There he finds a book mentioning the location of Kronux, a hidden world where time gods monitor the time stream, sort of like the TVA. Reaching Kronox, Gore kills all the gods present and pours their blood into the time well. Using it to time travel, Gore finds himself in the first moments of all creation where he tears out the heart of an elder god to power his doomsday device. Now Gore returns to the present and is immediately attacked by Thor, but he dives into a portal once again, this time headed for the future. Thor now follows him, but instead of arriving together with Gore, he arrives a few hundred years late and finds an Asgard torn apart by black berserkers, where the only god left is a future version of himself, who has now become the All-Father, and is being tormented eternally by Gore. The two Thors find that Gore's black berserkers have retreated in anticipation of the bomb's completion, and immediately set sail for Gore's base world to put an end to the Butcher. Throughout the hundreds of years between his arrival and Thor's, Gore had been harvesting god blood to make himself more powerful, as well as kidnapping gods and making them his slaves, making them toil for centuries away with no respite, building an instrument of their own doom. Gore also inexplicably had his wife and son with him on his base planet. In the final days of the god bomb's construction, Gore also yanked young Thor of the year 997 out of his timeline, enslaving him to do as he wanted to him, to contribute to the final touch of the bomb. Instead, young Thor spearheads a rebellion and attempts to destroy the god bomb with a chunk of unstable matter. However, this fails, but the blast flings young Thor into space, where he meets with the newly arrived Allfather Thor and Avenger Thor. Gore attacks the three Thors, and the Allfather's Thor force begins to overwhelm him. He commands his black berserkers to slaughter his slaves, and his power skyrockets from the spilled god blood, allowing him to defeat all three Thors at once. 
He blasts Allfather Thor into space, buries Avenger Thor within the heart of his planet, and sets off to use young Thor's blood for triggering the God Bomb. As the end of all gods draws near, Gore's wife exults, saying that Gore himself is her god. Gore then flies into a rage at those words and kills her, saying that he is no one's god. And his son finds out about this and realizes that his father has turned into a monster, far worse than the gods he had been fighting, and must be stopped. He helps Avenger Thor make his way out of the core of the world, even as all Father Thor is also returning from space at full speed. But they are too late. Even though young Thor bites Gore's eye out when Gore tries to sacrifice him, this gesture of defiance fails to make much of a difference. Discarding young Thor, Gore rips out the heart of another god and triggers the god bomb. All Father Thor attacks Gore to keep him occupied, while Avenger Thor tries to stop the detonation of the Doomsday device, but initially fails. As every god through space and time starts dying, they all see a vision of Thor struggling to contain the god bomb's explosion. Every god that was, is, or ever will be then prays to Thor, and with newfound power Thor manages to contain the god bomb's blast and absorb Gore's own weapon for himself, leaving the butcher powerless. In his last moments, Gore's son, quote-unquote son, arrives to denounce his father before vanishing in a blob of darkness. All Father Thor explains that both he and his wife were nothing more than constructs of Gore's necrosword, and that it's not the son who had helped defeat the father. It's the remaining good within Gore's own soul that helped cast aside the evil. Nevertheless, Gore remains defiant to the end and meets his death under young Thor's axe. Now later, believing to have been long deceased, Gore was in fact alive the entire time, as he became one with the All Black, the Necrosword. Now after many years, Gore found himself in peace as the world within the Necrosword was one without gods. He was eventually resurrected by Loki, who had recently bonded with All Black and intended to kill him after he kills Thor. However, Gore instead chose to reclaim his weapon from Loki and attack them both, eventually crucifying them. However, Thor was able to break free and engage in battle with Gore once more. Gore declares that he intends to make Thor watch and suffer as he destroys the very world he created and remake it into a world where life needs no guidance from gods. Loki then attacks Gore from behind, but Gore immediately strikes him back and proceeds to blind him. Eventually, Gore engulfs Thor and his brother into a sea of nothing but pure darkness. He is then interrupted by Thor's granddaughters, the goddesses of thunder, who are also aided by the gods of Indigar. Gore was then decapitated by Atli, but this did not kill him as his very consciousness was within all black itself. Gore then proceeded to expand himself with the symbiote and devour the entire universe around him, transforming it into the Necroverse. Gore makes one last attempt to kill Thor by devouring him with a black hole, but he gets distracted by Loki, giving Thor enough time to reclaim his power and use it to destroy the Necroverse, causing Gore to be separated by the symbiote once more. Following the events of the battle, Gore became a regular mortal being once again, but now suffers from amnesia. The gods of Indigar took him to their planet and swore they would watch over him with care. With no recollection of his past, Gore spent the rest of his days among the gods in space. Now as far as his powers and abilities go, Gore is by himself powerless. But he does fight using the former symbiote of Null. With all black attached to him, the Clintar takes on the form of the Necrosword and grants Gore dark power that is proportional to the number of deities he slaughters. In the past, Gore was barely more powerful than young Thor, but after killing countless more gods, he becomes so powerful that not even three Thors, including the nigh omnipotent Allfather, can defeat him. Now the Necrosword is incredibly powerful. Gore could replace his own limbs and create weapons, tendrils, and projectiles out of darkness. At one point, the Necrosword was able to permeate an entire star with its power, turning said star black. Gore could also use it for more complex purposes like creating the non-sentient black berserkers who were entirely servitile to his will. Each of those had enough power to lock Avenger Thor into a stalemate and had hundreds of thousands of them under his control at that time. He also made a giant black serpent that kept even all Father Odin occupied for a very long time. Beyond that, Gore was able to create fully sentient imitations of his wife and son using his power which was all done unintentionally. The all-black necrosword also provides Gore with a divine degree of super strength, endurance, and agility, 
and enough power to overpower multiple high-level deities at once. Even before reaching his full power, he took a blast that sent him flying light years away and even stayed alive afterwards. At his most powerful, he fought within the heart of the sun while being attacked by two Thors, one of them happening to be the omnipotent Odin or the one that has the Thor force, and defeated both of them. Some of the gods Gore slain over the course of his life were the size of mountains, and one of them reportedly wrestled black holes for fun. Anyway, this concludes our video on Gore the God Butcher. We really hope you enjoyed this character. We certainly do. As always, please go down to the comment section, write down below a character or a villain or a hero or an anti-hero, whatever character that you like, write it down in the comment section and we'll try to do a video on that. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So go ahead and click those buttons, folks. As always, Excelsior, see ya.